द थ्री बोन्स पार्ट टू हरो ट्राइड एवरी वे ही कुड स्टॉप दैम ही चेस दैम इन द स्ट्रीट्स रोलिंग अप स्लीव्स कंप्लेन टू द एल्डर्स बट अलास एवरी थिंग एंड अप इन वेन वन नाइट ही सैड थिंकिंग नो नो मैन विल हेल्प मी ही सेट टू हिम सेल्फ बट आई हेट टू बी द लाफिंग स्टॉक ऑफ द विलेज हा वाट शल आई डू सडनली ए थॉट क्रॉस्ड इज माइंड वाई इट्स गॉड हु हैज गिवन एज दीज बॉडीज आई मस्ट प्रे टू हिम फॉर रेमेडी देर इज नो अदर वे एक्साइटेडली ही कॉल्ड इज वाइफ डू स्टे होम टिल आई कम बैक डियर ही सेड हैज ही स्लैम्प्ड द डोर एंड वेंट ऑफ टू द वुड्स डीप इन द वुड्स हरु फाउंड अ मॉस रॉक संक डीप इन टू द अर्थ ही सैट डाउन ऑन इट and prayed to heaven for help the whole day passed he neither moved nor took notice of anything around him but prayed continuously his sincerity made the god who appeared before him haru's heart jumped when he saw the god before him with great humility haru prostrated himself then rose and sat on his knees and with folded hands he said lord lord be kind to me and grant my prayer the kind god smiled and gave him three boons to ask with three throws of dice haru ran to give the news to his wife dear dear he shouted knocking hard open quick when his wife opened the door he went straight in and sat down on his bed like a king his wife was alarmed and could make nothing of such behavior Do bring me a glass of water," ordered Haru. She did not move a step, but stood on the threshold and stared at him. "But what's the matter?" shouted Haru angrily. "Hurry up and bring me water!" "Oh dear, dear!" she cried out, knocking her forehead with her left hand. "What's happened to you? Who has made you mad? Stop it, woman! Stop it!" Haru shouted. Then suddenly. He sank his voice to a whisper and said, "Listen to me, dear. I have been lucky." And he narrated her how he went to the woods and how his prayers were answered. His wife began to dance with joy around the room. Then she came and sat by him and said in a coaxing tone, "You must cast, dear, the dice for wealth first." "No, no," Haru protested. "What shall we do with wealth?" "Yes." I say it's noses that we need first. We both have ugly noses that people laugh at us. Let us first cast for beautiful noses. But the wife was for wealth first, and so she caught hold of his hand to stop him throwing the dice. This made Haru very angry, and he impatiently drew his hand away from her at once, through exclaiming, "Let us both have beautiful noses and nothing but noses!" At once, their bodies were covered all over with innumerable noses. "Mercy on us!" cried Haru, looking at his wife. "Oh dear, you look so ugly! You too!" she shrieked out in reply. they stood against at the terrible sight of each other they proved such a nuisance that both of them agreed to throw the dice a second time asking for removal it was done but alas they also lost their own little noses by that husband and wife looked at each other in dismay they now looked uglier than before oh dear said aru almost sobbing what i have done i ought to have listened to you dear Now tell me shall i cast for two beautiful noses for us husband replied the wife sinking her noseless face in her palms if we get beautiful noses then people will certainly ask about the transformation and when they learn the truth she continued what fools we shall appear that we couldn't mend our circumstances even with three boons moreover even if we are rich we can't live without noses So, so let's have our own little noses back in their proper places and this time please be careful dear this is our last chance realizing the mistake haru lamented over his misfortune alas i have lost the opportunity ho oh, what a fool am i but he was too late to understand his folly 
At last he knelt down on the floor, threw the dice and prayed, Lord, kindly give us back our little noses. His prayer was answered and they smiled a bitter smile. Moral of the story Make judicious use of every opportunity that comes to you in life. I hope the story was very interesting. This is Sandhya Radhakrishnan from Flying Colors. Thank you so much.